Okay, here we are at the front door, We're walking in. Um, as you walk in, to the left is the bathroom. Um, and here's the bathroom. It's white with the brown cabinets. Um, as the bathtub, and of course, you know, I don't like bottles everywhere, so we've got our Simply Human uh, body wash and shampoo containers up there. Um, there is full-size washer and dryer in the closet here in the bathroom. And one of my favorite features, this is kind of weird, we have a Toto toilet, and it has the soft closed lid, so you basically just start it, and then they just, you can do one or both. You've probably seen those before, but I've heard of them, never had one before, but uh, they're awesome. I don't think I'd ever have a different kind of toilet now. It's nice, you just get it started, and close themselves, done. Kind of a stupid thing to, <laughs> to really like, but uh, anyway, walk down the hall here. Uh, this is the uh, armoire right here. Um, on one side it has two doors, which is my closet, and the other two doors open inside the bedroom, which is Judy's. Uh, this is the bedroom. Just pretty basic, small, but it fits a queen size bed. Um, and one nice thing I do like that they did in this apartment, um, you can see the plate on the wall here, and then there's a plate down below as well. Um, there's a conduit in the wall, so when you hang the TV on the wall, you can put all your electrical cords and your HDMI cables and stuff like that. They go down to the wall, so you don't have cables hanging below the TV. So it just looks nice, makes for a nice clean installation. Um, walking into the living room here, um, we're on the fifth floor, looking out that uh, on the other side of the street, that's the uh, University of Washington Medical Center. Uh, it's kind of a nice looking building, so one of the better views you can have on the back side of this building, they've got a uh, view of a rooftop of another building which has a bunch of air conditioning equipment and stuff on it, so it doesn't look too cool. Um, this is the wall uh, with the TV, same thing behind the TV, they've got the conduit uh, put in there so they don't have cables hanging, which is really nice. Um, everything in here is IKEA. Uh, we didn't know how long we we're going to be here, so we just went down and bought a few things that we would need. Um, here's our dining room slash everything table. And here's the, the kitchen. Um, I think Joyce, as I was telling you, uh, they did everything in white, but the uh, handles and accessories are all, br they're either brushed nickel or stainless. I think they're brushed nickel, so they look really nice. And then the, the cabinet poles are brushed nickel as well so they match perfectly and you can see the stove is the same way the microwave is the same and the microwave always also has a convection oven in it which we'll probably never use but it's there um, so they did a nice job so for a small place there's the dishwasher for a small place it has quite a bit of uh, of storage um, over here you can see they've got the one outlet is a USB plug so you can charge your cell phones and stuff like that and plug those in here. Um, it has the farmer sink in here which I really like and I don't think I'll ever have another place without them. It's nice and deep so when you wash something in there you don't get water all over the place. Uh, the ceiling, uh, this thing was done with a modern and industrial flare. So up here uh, we've got the LED lights. Um, which are really nice because they're energy efficient and they don't put out any heat. They've got LED lighting under the cabinets. I don't know if you can see it on this video, uh, but we've been told our electric bill will be about 20 bucks every two months or something, so it'll be really nice. Um, and you can see the exposed concrete on the ceiling and it even has the chalk marks from the, uh, I guess the architectural and the construction crews on there which is kind of cool and there are spots on the wall like here where they have sections of exposed concrete right there and on the other side as well behind the couch um, and then there's another one here in the hallway which is kind of cool 
And uh, that's it. This is 585 square feet. Uh, one really nice thing about it is since it doesn't have carpet and it's so small, it's really easy to clean. So this is what it's like to have urban living in Chicago. I'm in Chicago. What am I talking about? Seattle. I don't know where I am. I was in Chicago a couple